Hello, welcome to Jason the Old Millennial. My name is Jason. I'm speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. And today I'm continuing my uh, list of top 100 favorite albums of all time. Um, also, I should say, uh, it's been an interesting uh, week for me. I uh, just got hired to a new job, uh, which I'm excited for, but also nervous. Um, so I've been dealing with a lot of uh, um, trying to get ready for the new job and of course continuing my work with the current job and getting that done with so I can move on. Uh, so it's been kind of chaotic this week and uh, haven't got a lot of sleep. So I, I got a little bit of a cold that I'm trying to fight through. <clears throat> I feel a little bit better today so that's why I thought I'd try to do at least one video because I feel like I haven't done one in a while. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to do an album. Uh, this is uh, number 63 on my rankings, and it is called CSN by Crosby, Stills & Nash. It came out in 1977, and it's their third studio album, from what I can see, um, counting Deja Vu, which is a Crosby, Stills & Nash and Young, uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young album, but I count that, I guess, as the same. Uh, sometimes they add Neil Young to it, sometimes it's just those three, uh, but... It has to have at least those three, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and it's a Crosby, Stills, and Nash album, even if they add somebody else to it, or Neil Young to it. Um, so this being their third studio album, um, actually is their best-selling record, uh, going four times platinum, which I was kind of surprised because uh, the other two albums before this are <clears throat> much more well-known and popular. The first one, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, a huge, huge album, uh, really started them, and then Deja Vu, which came out in 1970, um, was also huge, probably the most well critically claimed album. Anyway, so I think, and then that came out in 1970, and this one came out in 77, so there's about a seven year uh, gap there in between albums. So my guess is when this album came out, there was a lot of hype with it, and people that were, you know, big fans had waited seven years for another Crosby, Stills, Nash album. So I'm sure when this was coming out, everybody wanted it because they wanted to see, because the other two albums were so good. Um, let's say this this is a good album. It's not quite on the level as Deja Vu and Crosby, Stills and Nash. Those are some of the best best albums ever made. Um, it's still definitely a very solid album. Of course, I have it here at sixty three. Um, uh, interesting the the name of the album C S N, uh, which they are mostly known by because saying all their names takes a long time. Uh, what's interesting is their 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 ability to name their albums is um, not very creative. I would say for the most part. Uh, the first album is called Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Just named it after the band. This, their third studio album, is called CSN. Same thing, just just did the letters of their first names. Uh, um, Crosby and Nash, they did uh, three or four uh, duo albums together. And one of them is called uh, Crosby Nash. And then I know the last one that they did is called Crosby and Nash. So it's the same thing, they just put an and in there. So, I mean, they didn't do a lot a lot with all their albums on the creativity of uh, naming their album, which I find kind of funny. And it's kind of interesting to go... It's not it's not as fun to say CSN, Crosby, Nash. You know, it's fun to say an album name, I think. So, uh, it's too bad they didn't come up with something better. But, anyways. Uh, but yeah, this uh, came out number two on the pop albums charts. Um, I had two singles come off of this. Just a song before I go went number seven in the U.S., so it did pretty good. And then a, a Fair Game went number 43 in the U.S. were the two singles. Uh, just Song Before It Goes, really the only song I knew from this album I had heard before um, and always liked. Besides that, all the songs on here I've never really heard before. So it was really fun delving into this album for the first time uh, when I first listened to this maybe a year ago. I've re-listened to it since. Um, if you know Crosby, Stills, Nash, they just have the greatest harmonies of all time. And I'm a huge fan of theirs. Definitely top five band for me all time. Uh, just because I love harmonies. I love bands with great harmonies. And of course, uh, it's just amazing that you got these three singers, songwriters that great, you know, great harmonies together. Also can sing solo and also write their own songs and great um, instrumentation overall. I mean, it's just, uh, that's why it's just my favorite, one of my favorite bands. Um, yeah, and so throughout this is a very solid album of great uh, folk rock pop sounds um, I would say um, not really any rock songs like some of the previous albums but uh, definitely more I guess folk rock sounding I would say um, 
Anyway, so I'll go to my top three favorite songs on the album. There's not really a lot to say about the album because uh, it's not really well claimed or well talked about album and not a lot of info behind it. So uh, I don't have a whole lot to say. I just, um, just really like this album. Uh, I did another album of theirs already called Daylight Again, which came out in 82, so about five years after this. And so this was really their last, that was maybe their last major album that they did together. Um, they haven't really done an album since. That was, I think they did maybe some with Christ Stills and Nash and Young, but it wasn't quite at this level. Um, I should say, like in that seven year span, uh, they all kind of went and did their own projects. So in the seven years, they haven't done a project together necessarily, except they did some tours together. But uh, they all did solo projects, Nash, Crosby, and uh, Stills. And also, like I said, Crosby and Nash did some uh, albums together, just them two. And even Stills and Young did an album together. So they were always working together, doing albums. But this was the first, like, actual, you know, trio album that they've done in quite a while. Um, so anyway, so my top three. Number three, I go with Shadow Captain. First song on the album, really excellent. One I've never heard of before until I, like I said, delved into this album. And really excellent opener to the... Um, it was written by Crosby, uh, David Crosby, um, and kind of this song about sounds like you know the Shadow Captain. It was kind of negative about the leader, uh, probably talking about political leader maybe. Anyway, just an excellent song. Uh, number two is called "See the Changes," which I think maybe was the second song on the album or pretty much right after it. Um, and this one really blew me away. This was the one that I heard. I was like, wow, I never heard this song before. I love this song. Uh, like a lot of Crosby, Stills, Nash songs, they usually try to, you know, uh, obviously you got a lot of big egos there, so they try to um, equally have the same amount of songs that they write on the album. So it's not just one of the members dominating the album. So they kind of say, here's, you do a couple, you do a couple, you know, um, try to somewhat even it out. And, um, Anyways, and so a lot of songs, whoever wrote the songs usually leads, is the lead singer of the song, of course. And sometimes you get songs where one is singing most of the lyrics and then the other two maybe come in on the chorus to harmonize or just come in every once in a while to do a little bit of harmonies. And then you have some songs where they sing harmony throughout the whole song. And I love those type of songs when just from the very get-go, they just all three sing together the whole song. And that's what See the Changes, what I love about this song is right from the very beginning you just got these great harmonies and it just continues continues out through the whole song and this is like a song that I've never heard before and now I would say it's like a top 10 favorite uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash song of, of all time so I'd say definitely check this out if you like Crosby, Stills, and Nash uh, like I said it's not as well known nobody talks about it it's not a big single didn't hit any charts which I'm surprised because it's a really good song um, then number one is the song I said I've I know from this album just a song before I go, which is, uh, I should say, See the Changes was a Stephen Steele song. He wrote that one. Then this one, Just a Song Before I Go, was uh, written by uh, Graham Nash. Graham Nash, I said before on my other um, review, that he's my favorite out of the group vocally, the songs that he writes. I love his high tenor vocals, and he writes some really good melodies. Um, and he plays um, some guitar and some piano, and he has some, some nice, really sweet songs, I would say. And this was one of my favorites of his, another top 10 probably song from Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Uh, mostly sung by Nash with some harmonies uh, throughout from the other two, but mostly it's a Graham Nash kind of song. Um, it's a simple song, just a song about, uh, like I said, just a song before I go. And uh, interesting, I read his uh, autobiography, um, Wild Tales by Graham Nash, and he uh, talks about uh, he was like waiting for a uh, plane and uh, he was waiting at somebody at a friend's house, you know, waiting to go to the airport. And his friend uh, challenged him, like, if you're a good songwriter, could you write a song before you have to leave to the airport? And I don't know how long he had to write the song, but he just kind of took that challenge, like, yeah, I can write a song. So he wrote the song, just a song before I go, and it's one of the best songs uh, he's ever written, which I find just so fascinating that he kind of proved, yeah, I can write a hit song with uh, not very much time left and it's just funny how the song's called just a song before I go because it is a song before he had to go anyways excellent excellent song excellent vocals from Graham Nash and I love the guitar parts the guitar parts are just really excellent of course these are excellent musicians especially Stephen Stills one of the best guitar players of all time uh, so yeah just very good uh, nice little song there 
I enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, so that's my number one song. So check those three songs out. Um, check this album out if you haven't. You know, I think it's very. If you like the Crosby, Stills, Nash, if you like Harmonies. This was a great album. Anyways, number 63 on my list, CSN. So thank you for watching this video, and uh, thank you to all my subscribers for supporting me on this channel. Um, I could do without you, so I really appreciate it. Have a good day.